Hey Rogue Nation, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Tom Hunter. I'm the manager at Rogue Running downtown Austin. Today we're going to talk about nutrition and why it's important for you to take it. So why is it important for us to use nutrition? The body has uh, taps into two sources of energy when we're running. When we're running slower and the heart rate's lower, we're tapping into fats. As the heart rate elevates, the body's going to take the path of least resistance and start using sugars. And that's where the nutrition's going to come into play. All right, so gels are typically going to be our most popular uh, source of energy and nutrition when we're running. Uh, I ask customers this oftentimes, are you a pudding person or are you a jello person? All that means is the consistency of the gel. If you're a pudding person, your vanillas, chocolates, coffees, are kind of going to be your go-to. If you like a jello consistency, you're going to be looking more for something fruity, your lemon limes, oranges, watermelons, strawberries. So goo is usually our number one selling gel product. However, it's not the only one out there. Um, it's always good to try different things. Um, if goo's too hard on your stomach, there's organic options out there like Honey Stinger and Huma. Um, there's also other products that are very similar to Goo in Cliff Shot and Hammer Gel. So if you've tried some Goos and it's just not working for you, there are other options out there for quick sugars during a run. You can do things that are called Cliff Shots and Honey Stinger Chews. Um, it's gonna work the same way as what a Goo does, except it's gonna have the consistency of like a, a like a fun fruit or like a fruit chew, um, drawback to it. It can get a little bit gummy in your mouth. Uh, also transporting it. It's not quite as easy as throwing a, a goo into your belt. These uh, can be a little cumbersome to, to uh, carry around, but they do work just as well. We're also going to talk about electrolyte replacement. This gets to be really important now as it's really getting hot out here in Texas. Um, basically, uh, the products that we have, Noon, Scratch, Tailwind, Good old Gatorade. Um, these are going to replace your electrolytes. Uh, that means salt, potassium. This is all stuff you're sweating out. Um, if you're not replacing them, we can run into issues with cramping. So it's really important that we put, uh, supplement these in with our gels as well. We're also going to talk about nutrition um, pre-run. Uh, it is important for most people to have something in their stomach like an hour or two before they run. Uh, this is just something that the body can tap into initially at the onset of exercise. Um, one example would be goo uh, stroop waffles. Uh, you don't have to necessarily use this. I mean, it can be something as simple as toast with some jelly, um, bagel with some cream cheese. Um, it, you got to find what works for you, but it is recommended that we have some food on board before we run to have that, that energy that the body can tap into initially. All right. Next, we're going to talk about you can. This is a great pre-workout uh, product. Uh, kind of how it works, it's a sustained energy where when you take a goo, it's a spike energy. Uh, so it goes up really fast and, and it's out of the system really fast where this is going to last you maybe 60 to 90 minutes. A goo's kind of 45 minutes. This is great to take beforehand. Uh, it's a little chalky in texture. Can it be used during? Yeah, but that chalky texture kind of makes it tough. So I usually recommend using this before a run and then uh, delaying the onset of needing your goose chews. All right, everybody. And finally, remember this. It's important for us when we're taking our nutrition to try to take four to eight ounces of water with us. It's good to have either a handheld water bottle with you a hydration belt, a hydration pack. This is going to be important when we take our nutrition. Uh, and in closing, if you'd like to learn more about Rogue Training, you can click the link below. Remember, you don't have to live in Austin to join Rogue Training. We have programs in Dallas. We also have virtual training uh, out there. Click the link, check us out. We'd love to see you out there.